we'll click our update on Ron's condition as of today. Now the broken clavicle uh, is quite clear on the x-ray but uh, the issue currently is that um, the, it became evident that he'd also cracked some ribs. Uh, he started to come off the painkillers and the, um, it was moving, coughing, it was hurting much more than it should be um, based on the and much lower than the collarbone situation. So yeah there was another check done yesterday and yeah, there's a couple of broken ribs. They are cracked um, and they will heal themselves so there won't be any additional treatment required for this but obviously it's going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, the surgery on the clavicle that will happen at the end of next week in Melbourne. Uh, there's grazing on the shoulder that would be at the edge of where the actual surgery would be and the surgeon wanted to have that healed sufficiently to minimise uh, risk of infection which is fair enough. Um, it does mean that yeah, we, we're going to need to wait about a week uh, for that to be done. Um, see in the picture here that we just took, so the grazing in the hands, arm and shoulder are uh, healing nicely. Uh, the bump on the clavicle is um, yes, protruding a little bit more, becoming very evident, um, but it will stay that way until we have the surgery. So we'll do one more update uh, following the surgery, um, just to uh, let everyone know it's uh, concluded and done and then we'll also update on the timing to complete the ride. Um, depending on how long before Ron can drive uh, we'll make the decision whether uh, we finish it now with, with me riding and Ron supporting in the support vehicle or we um, finish up and yeah, wait uh, postpone for two or three months um, at least until Ron is back to fitness and, um, and complete it together. So we'll update that uh, yeah, in a week or so. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.